Hello and welcome to today's video. In today's video, we're going to learn how to value a company given uh, future cash flows and some valuation parameters and assumptions and how to calculate the sensitivity analysis given the fluctuation in this parameter. So as an accountant, uh, it may pose a challenge for you on how to determine what the value of your company is given its future cash flows. And then um, most times also how sensitive those cash flows or uh, valuation would be given the changes in market conditions in terms of uh, what your cost of capital change would have been or what your progression in terms of growth rate will be into the future. So this video will help us to make sense out of all of this and help us uh, be more efficient in our work. So I have before us the valuation of XYZ Limited Company that has cash flow projected for the year 2024 to 2027, right? Uh, we'll determine what the growth rates would be that the company is poised to grow for 9.68% we we'll determine what the cost of equity is, which is a discount rate 19.97%. So we need to calculate our capitalization rates, which we would use to determine what the terminal value would be. All right. Uh, so to help us do that, I've given us some information in here to help us um, understand what all of these parameters mean. For instance, the terminal growth rate, like you can see, of 9.68%, we say that this rate is the rate which you project your company to grow into the future. So this will be given based on past performance and future investment opportunities that the company has uh, to make in the coming years. So all of this will determine what the growth rate will be. But for the purpose of this video, we have it as 9.68%. So the capitalization growth rate, which uh, capitalization rate, which we use to determine what the terminal value of the uh, cash flow would be for this company, is just simply the difference between the discount rate and the terminal growth rate. Then, of course, our cost of equity, which is a discount rate, is more of the expected return on investment. Then, uh, having known this, we can go ahead to determine our first. Uh, points, which is the capitalization rate, like we've said here, that it is a difference between the discount rate less the terminal growth rate. So I'll come here and calculate my capitalization rate equals to the 19.97% less the six, the 9.68%. percent All right, so we can see that from these two rates, we have our capitalization rate to be 10.29%. All right, so the next thing for us to do is to determine what is the terminal value cash flow. So to determine the terminal value, we simply take equals to the uh, last cash flow, which is cash flow in year four, divided by the capitalization rate, right? Which is a 10.29%. So this gives us our terminal value. If the investment is to be sold, what value you receive as cash flow. So the next thing for us to do is to make an assumption around how we receive this cash flow. The standard assumption we, we, we know is that cash flow are usually received at the end of the year. But there are situations where, because we are not certain if the cash flow will come at the end of the year, we may decide to make the assumption that cash flows will be received mid-year, right? So which is then used to discount as against at the end of the year. So to determine what the media um, would be is to subtract 0.5 from our, our years. Like you can see we have years 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. So I'll come in here. So the media will be 1 minus 0 0.5. Then I would do 2 minus 0 0.5. And I'll just drag on to the end. All right. So I can calculate my DCF by using equals to based on the formula one divided by open my bracket one plus the discount rate of 19.97. Phrase it because I'll be using it for the rest of the periods. F for my keyboard. Close my bracket and raise to the power of 0 0.5 mid-year uh, period with the assumption that cash flow comes 
at the mid of the year as against end of the year or beginning of the year. All right, press the enter key and I can drag down for the rest of the period. All right, so I've done this bit. Then the next thing is to then calculate what our um, discounted cash flow is, which is the present value of the cash flow for the various periods. So for year one is is simply the cash flow for year one multiplied by the DCF based on the mid year assumption. I would say it equals to the cash flow which is eight eighty five thousand multiply by zero point nine one three DCF factor. Press the enter key. So a cash flow of eight hundred eighty five thousand has a present value of eight hundred eight thousand. So I can drag down or do similar thing for the next period. 695,000 multiplied by 0 0.761 and I'll drag down up to the end of year 4. Alright, great stuff. So we've covered these aspects of our calculation. So the next thing is to determine what the present value of the terminal value is. So the terminal value multiplied by the DCF for year 5. So our terminal value is 5.6 million multiplied by DCF of year 5, which is 0 0.441. So I'll come in here and say equals to 5.603 million multiplied by 0 0.441. Press the enter key. So our present value of the terminal value is 2.469 million. Right, then uh, we then need to sum up all of the present value of the discrete cash flows from year one to four as well. So we'll come in here and say equals to sum, I put my brackets, then select all of the cash flows from year one to four discounted, close my brackets, press the enter key. So this gives me the present, the PV of the terminal value and uh, the other 2.198 gives me the sum of the present value from discounted from year one down to year four. So my total present value is the terminal value PV plus the uh, sum of the PVs on the discrete cash flow. All right. So I've got this 4.667. So the value of this company, XYZ Limited, are discounted as of today based on cash flow for five for four years, including the terminal value is 4.6 million. All right. So because the market is unstable. There's a lot of volatility in market indicators. We've made an assumption about the growth rate that um, this is the rate in which the company is going to grow. What if the company doesn't grow by that rate of 9.6%? What if it grows beyond 96 or even grows lesser than 96 What do we do? Again, another factor that the company doesn't really have much control over is the discount rate, which is the rate of return. What if the rate of return is higher than 19.97% or lower than 19.97%? As an accountant, you may want to know if all of these factors are flexed, what impact will it have in the value of the company in terms of its present value? All right. So to help us analyze this sensitivity is to use the data table function in Microsoft Excel. That's our next steps. So I have built in these uh, little templates to help us calculate the sensitivity given the different um, growth rates assumptions and given the different discount rate assumptions, right? So I am saying that my growth rate, what if my growth rate changes by 0.5% and my cost of capital, which is the discount rate or equity, uh, cost of equity, uh, also changes by 0.5%. So this 9.68 is my base terminal growth rate, which we've used for discounting. 9.68 is what I've got in here. Then my cost of capital, which is a discount rate, is the 19.97%, which I've brought in here as well. So I'm going to adjust these two rates by 0.5%. So to do that, I would first come into this cell D20 and say equals to this amount less 0.5 percent right so this becomes 9.18 percent then i'll come in here as well less uh, 0.5 percent so you can see it's grown from it's come down to 8.68 percent grow to 9.18 then 
at the base of 9.68 then we can go it further but at this point we'll then add uh, plus 0.5 percent then equals to this plus 0.5 percent all right so we've gotten our assumptions around how the terminal growth rates would be so what if the company doesn't grow by 9.6 percent it then grow by 9.18 percent what would be the present value of the company what if it grows it doesn't grow more or grow less to 8.68 percent what's the impact on the present value of the company or what if it grows up to 10.68 percent what would the value be all right so the other side to also look at which is also a key uh input in our calculation is the uh, discount rate which is the cost of capital so the same approach we've used for the growth rates we're going to use same for the discount rate so it will grow from the top down to the bottom so at this point i would subtract 0.05 percent from 19.97 percent minus 0.5 percent then coming here equals to this minus 0.5 percent all right so i'll come for that here to grow the discount rate which is equals to this plus now 0.5 percent and finally this plus 0.5 percent all right so i have created different scenarios to help us calculate our sensitivity analysis on any of these scenarios and what impact this would have on the present value of our company all right so that being said we're going to then use the data table function in excel to calculate the um, sensitivity analysis at these different rates for the terminal growth rate and the discount rate which is the cost of capital so mind you you need to bring in the uh, base rate present value which is just is simply the value you've calculated in here right so you need to have the structure right at the start before you run your data table function in excel so to then run this data table function i'm going to select from this 4.667 million I would highlight the entire table, hence the name data table function. So I'll select the entire table starting from the present value at the base rates for terminal growth rate and uh, cost of capital. So I haven't, haven't done this. The next thing for you to do is to come to your data tab, right? Select it. Then come to your what if analysis. So that's what if analysis then you can see the data table select it then it gives you this little dialog box that asks you what is the role input cell you want to select and what is the column input cell you want to select so the role input cell our role is simply the terminal growth rate right so our terminal growth rates we've used in our calculation is 9.68 percent so i'll select that as 9.68 percent then the next input uh, cell is on the column side, which is the cost of capital or the discount rate. All right, so I'll come in here and select our discount rate using our calculation is 19.97%. Right, so I have selected these two um, cells and then I'll press the OK button. Lovely. So you can see that our table has been populated with different uh, present present values for different terminal growth rates and a different discount rate, right? So you can see that I have selected this uh, section of the entire table to help me determine what my range is. And if you look very closely, you will see that at 9.68% terminal growth rate and 19.97%, this country it will have a present value of 4.667 so this agrees back to what we have as our, our calculation if we use these two uh, parameters all right so if it changes to 10.18 percent right and the rate and the discount rate moves to 19.47 we would have a present value of 5 million Rather, if it moves from 9.18% terminal growth rate, if it grows less than anticipated, but the cost of capital uh, increases to 20.47%, 
we will have a present value of 4.392 percent all right so the blue uh amount present value amount and the uh more uh pink or thereabouts uh fair by present value amount will determine my high end and my low end which i have here so if you want to estimate based on a range because you're not sure if at a point estimate uh the 4.67 Will be your fair value but if you want to find what the range of my valuation would be given the fluctuation in the market right so you can select a range and say the high end is the five five million and the low end is a 4.3 million all right so i can increase this awesome so this becomes my high end value of XYZ company and a low end value of 4.3. So we've come to the end of this video. Thank you for watching and see you in my next video. Bye.